I am Anil Kumar sharing with you some questions on polynomials to review the whole concept. The question here is, write a cubic polynomial in standard form with leading coefficient 3 and 0 of multiplicity 3 at 2. Uh, when we say standard form, that means we have to write the function as y equals to ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d right what we are given here is that the leading coefficient is 3 that means what we are given is a equals to 3 and we are also given a 0 so 0 of multiplicity 3 at 2 right so so this 0 multiplicity 3 so it is at x equals to 2 and multiplicity or order We also say order. So it's a cubic zero. So order is three. That is what we are given, right? So let us see how to write this equation. So from the zero itself, we can actually get our equation. We don't we know what a is, but let me write general. So we have a x minus zero is at x equals to two. So x minus two will give us that zero. And the order is 3, so it is cube. So we get a cubic equation here. Perfect. Where we clearly know that a is equal to 3. So we can substitute 3 for a. So we get 3 times. Now we can expand this. We have x minus 2 whole cube using the formula. Or you could actually, you know, do it in phases. So a cube minus b cube. Let's write down the formula here. So we get x cubed minus 3 times x squared times 2, right? Plus 3x. Now, cube of 2, uh, square of 2. So let me write here 2 square minus 2 cube, which is 8. Okay? So that that is the formula so we get this as equals to 3 times x cube minus 6x square 4 times 3 is 12 and um, we got minus 8 now we can multiply by 3 and write down the result as 3x cube minus 18x square plus 36x minus 24. Perfect. So that is how you could do it. Now here I have used a cube minus b cube formula. Let me write down here. If you have a plus b whole cube, then the formula is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube, right? However, we had minus. So if you replace b with minus, then all the terms where b is with odd powers will become negative. Do you see that part? So this is negative and this is negative. So that becomes an easy way of uh, remembering the formula. So we have a negative term here, right? 3x squared times b, b is 2 for us, rather minus 2. So that minus 2 makes it negative. Then we have 3x b squared minus 2 becomes positive 2 so this is positive and we have minus 2 cube which is minus 8 right so i hope that helps so this is a formula uh, which you should remember to solve such questions i hope that helps feel free to write your comments and share your views if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best